friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Christine of Side Street Market and we're in a little bit of a different position today because I had a couple of hauls from you so I set them up in different spots to film them for you. So today's haul is mainly one church thrift store that I went to twice and one of the trips was actually November of last year and I forgot I had the box in my storage unit of inventory so I dug it out and I just happened to have gone to that same church thrift store a week or so back. And so I decided to combine those. And then because I wanted a few more items, I also threw in a third thrift store, second thrift store. Anyways, I have lots of goodies for you. So if I didn't say it, I'm Christine of Side Street Market. Welcome back to my channel. And we're going to get into this haul today. First up, from the church haul, like I said, I went shopping in November. I bought these guys. There are two sets of Christmas candelabras. They actually came with the art with the bulbs and I actually don't have any of these. So I may try these out in my windows this year for Christmas, see if the cats let them live. And if it works out, I'll end up keeping them. If not, they'll be in a future like Christmas in July type sale. But I was excited. I'm not sure how old they are because they do have the plastic base. But I was just excited to find them with the bulbs and everything. I plugged them in, they work. That works for me. So next up, we have some dishware. And this I'll have in a fall sale. It's a beautiful like amber with the vine trees. So it's almost like you can put eggs and crackers. I just love the look of this. It's a nice solid amber piece. I will probably end up listing this online. I wanted it for a live sale, but it is kind of heavy probably a good three pounds. So you guys will want to know what it's going to cost to ship it. But I just thought that was beautiful. It's like got this great, it's coming up a little pink, red. It's coming up redder on my phone than it is in person. It's that great orangey yellow. And I just thought that'd be really a fun fall piece for you guys. So I grabbed that. And then this guy's dusty crusty good. It's a brass shell wall sconce planter. And this one actually says solid brass handcrafted in India. And any of these, the scallop ones, I cannot keep them in my Etsy shop. Um, I list them for between $10 and $12 and they usually sell within a week. And I've looked out this one particular store I go to. It seems like every so often someone donates one and I grab it, throw it online, it's gone. So once I clean this up because it's got some friends on the inside, it'll be really Really, really pretty. <clears throat> so then we'll switch over to some dishware. Now I need to do some research on this because I know there is federal glass and I know there's pink depression glass. This is pink glass, but it's French. And I've run across this brand before. It's called A-R-C-O-R-O-C. Arcoroco, Arcoroc, France, and it's a really pretty pink swirl pattern. So it's French glass, and I've run across in the 90s, they had a set of um, dishware that was black square and cube in style. So it was like cubed bowls and cubed cups, that very like late 80s, early 90s. So I'm gonna have to figure out where these fall in the scheme of things. This, this was probably like an 80s reproduction to mimic pink depression glass. I could be wrong. If one of you out there knows more about this, I'm just making assumptions right now. So I'm just gonna say that, that that's just what I think it could be, but I need to do some more research on it. What was great is I got this whole set for $15. It came with the four cups, the four saucers, four dessert plates and four dinner plates. So that's about a dollar a dish, which I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to piece it out. So I'll sell the cups with their little saucers. And I don't know if you can see the art, the name there on that. So I just really like that kind of, it reminds me of the, um, the swirl pattern for the uranium, the green uranium glass. And then of course it came with the matching dessert and dinner plates. 
that I got four of. And these are, I want to say these feel like 80s because I know someone told me they have like that grease to them. That sometimes the reproduced style depression glass that was done in the 80s, when you touch it, it's got like a film to it and it like takes fingerprints real easy. And I've had other bowls like that and I think that that's what these are. I think these are probably an 80s repo of pink swirl depression glass. So that was the glassware. And then I picked up this cute little summer style left in trinket dish. It's a leaf shape with these great orange and yellow flowers. I thought they were really pretty. It says left in China, hand painted 8312. So I'll probably save that for, I guess it could be a summer type item with those flowers. What do you guys think? Would this be more fall to you or would you call that summer? Cause the colors of the flowers feel a bit summer, but the shape says fall to me. And it does have that pretty gold detailing. And then this is for all my girls that love all the pretty things. And this is a uh, made in Germany. We'll go with that. 16, I don't know. I don't know. I do have a logo book that I will look this up. It looks like it says Van Sheerholz. Hand material, it's probably hand painted is what it's trying to say. But it's made in Germany. I'm not sure why there's tape on the bottom of this. But anyway, look at this beautiful, that's going to be in the live sale for you guys. I will definitely put that in a live sale because I know I have some ladies that love to come on my live sales that um love the pretty, the pink and gold. And so I thought about you guys. I'm out there looking for you, I promise. Then for my trinket box lovers, this is, it's a silver and it's a tarnished silver. This is made in Japan and it's a really cute heart trinket box. It's footed and it's got the glass top that needs cleaning. The velvet's still pretty on the inside and if you can see on the bottom there, you may not be able to catch it, but that says made in Japan right there. So I snagged that guy. And then I need to go back because I need your help, friends. I need to figure out who makes these. So this, oh wow, there you go, is a pearlescent dog with those kind of bead eyes and bow. It is a bank, okay? And it says made in Japan, and it's got 6833 on the bottom. So I'm going to need to research this. But I could have sworn I was just watching Jeffrey of Real Nifty Vintage and he was actually in Florida at a flea market and he grabbed a dog that had like jeweled eyes or something and he said it was a certain name. But I don't know if that's what this is. But it's just, is this a, a type of schnauzer? My dog people, I need you to correct me. So I grabbed that for my dog loving folks. This next item I'll be saving for closer to Christmas or Christmas in July. This is a really cute Home Co. Triple Angel set. They're all playing little instruments. So I figured these would be really cute for a July sale. You can see their Home Co. But you know, this one's just chilling on the guitar. And then these two are just doing their own thing. They're just all having their own little song and dance. So I thought the set of those were really cute and I grabbed them for the holiday season. And then I picked up this because I thought it was cool. I thought it was different. So it looks like wood, but it feels lighter than wood. So I don't know if it is wood because it's meant to look like carved wood. I don't know if it's like a wood foam. I want to say it feels like a foam made to look like wood, but it's a really neat double candle holder. And I thought, wouldn't that be cool in like some fall decor, maybe with some tall orange candles with some sprigs around it. I don't know. It was different. It was funky, but it's very light. It doesn't feel like carved wood. So I don't know what it is but it's different. So I picked it up. Then I got this girl, which I thought she was just lovely. 
These Delft pieces, Delft inspired pieces do really well for me on my Etsy shop. So she's a lovely little Dutch girl with her dress and her windmills. But she is a napkin holder and I tried finding her online and the only one I could find came with a salt and pepper shaker set. So she's the only one I've seen like this online. She is made in Japan. So I'm going to have to do some research, but I think I'm probably going to list her in my Etsy. She needs a little cleanup. She's got some, some uh, grease there on her fruit plate. And next up for my strawberry people, I got a set of three strawberry glasses. So these are the first two in the set. But then what they did was they threw this one in with it. And this one says 1989 AHC. And it has anchor hawking on the bottom. And some of the strawberries looked a little faded to me on this one. But would you guys sell this as a set of three, even though this one doesn't match? Or would you list these two and then a single? Because I don't know if someone would buy a single glass. Or maybe I offer the single in a live sale. Let me know what you guys think because I'm struggling with what to do with these. But I had not seen strawberry glasses. These are not marked anything on the bottom. So... I don't know who they came from, but I thought those were cute for the summertime. And more tins because I am starting to get into getting tins. This is a nice clean one and it does say made in England, designed by Da Hair, Long Island, New York. So there was another one I picked up recently that was a pretty blue with floral and I liked the gold. Can you guys see the gold on all the flowers? So all these tins I'm going to be saving for live sales. Or if you like them ahead of time, you can feel free to email me. I'm cool with that too. And then comes the brass, which we all know like Afghans is close to my heart. Y'all, can you see? Can you see this? Whole bag, $8. Now this lot, because this would be perfect for a wedding or something, is going to be going up as an auction on my, on my eBay. So I just wanna see real quick how many we have in here. One, some of them need to be screwed back together. Some of them have a little bit of goo on them. So these do say solid brass made in, handcrafted in India. Three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, oops, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So I do have a set of thirteen in here. I'll I'll kind of take you guys down. Can you see? So I have thirteen of them, and they do range in sizes. They need a little bit of cleaning because some of them have some residue, but those would be great for someone if they have a wedding coming up or something like that, or even at the holidays, people love to display them with all different colors. So I think 13 for $8 was a good buy on that because that's like less than a dollar a candlestick for brass. And I'm, I'm not gonna put them all away. I'm just trying to get a few. Oh, it looks like someone was originally trying to sell these for $3, $4, and then they got marked up to $8 at the thrift store. Well then, I still think that was a good bargain. And the funny part was, in this particular thrift store, they had a candlestick section, and they must have just dismissed these guys because they had regular brass thicker candlesticks for $8 a stick. So when I saw the whole bag, I was like, okay, why not? we got four items left, guys. So this is going to be a little bit of a shorter haul for you today. Next up, I have a Joseph Original, a November birthday birthstone girl. Now, I did have August, June, July, and March, but I've sold out of all, I think, but the August girl. I think I have one of my four girls left, so I was happy when I found this one for the fall, so I'll be sure to put her online. She still has her Joseph on the bottom and she still has her original little Joseph tag and she's in great condition. She's not been decapitated that I know of. Nope, her flowers are all good. 
So that was exciting. I did pay up for her. They were asking $5 because they knew what she was, but I still think that's good because those can go for 12 to 14 online. And then I was so excited to find these. So I often find the knockoff of these, the knockoff of these sunburst ones, and you'll get them and you can feel that even though they're glass, the aluminum that's on them is kind of like a little pitted, but people still like those. But these are the Leonard and they're silver plate. And I think they're Italian, but I don't see the Italy marked on here. But you can see that this, when they're marked the Leonard, these are the true mid-century ones. So these are the ones that people really like. Oh yes, there it is. Can you see on the glass, made in Italy? It's right there. And so these are the good ones that sell really well online. So if you see these and they're not marked, you can still pick them up and label them as reproductions or obviously knockoffs of the Leonard silver plate because some people that's more their budget, they will still pick them up and use them. They were probably ashtrays, but I call them coasters. And this one is in like the floral pattern. I think there's also more of a starburst pattern, but this looks like a a flower. So I grabbed that set of three, even though there's three, I think they'll stu still do okay. And then with Easter in mind, I checked out the children's books in this last store I went into and I picked up this little Peter Rabbit book for me. It was 25 cents and this one was reprinted in, I think it's 1987. But I thought in a little tear tray vignette that this would look adorable for, you know, the upcoming Easter season. Or even like open it up and show some of the photos. It's been a while since I've read Peter Rabbit, so I may have to go back through this. And this is one of the ones where it's only got like five or six pages. Oh, that page is stuck together. I don't know, want, want to know why. Mr. McGregor's Garden. I can't remember reading this book, I think, at my grandmother's house. So... I used to go visit my grandmother and she had a house near the water in Connecticut in the summertime we'd go up and stay for a week and visit. She always kept a drawer in a set of, in a chest of drawers in the back sunroom like where we stayed that had little books for all the grandkids because she had like 30, 40 grandkids, 20 great grandkids. Like it's a huge family on that side. But I remember the little books so this will probably bring back some fun memories for me with this little guy. And now this last one, my husband got excited for. If I told him, no, no, I'm going to sell it. I'm sorry, because my husband loves to bake and he makes cakes from scratch. He makes cupcakes from scratch. He makes his frosting from scratch. But I'll probably let him like play and like look through this first before I sell it. But it's a vintage Betty Crocker cake frosting mix cookbook. And it's got the spiral binding. And I just, even like the covers for display, this one, Golden Press, New York, 1966. So this one is from the 60s. And just look at those cakes. I just thought this was really cool. The do's and don'ts and the different types of what they had on the cover. Someone had like some recipes torn out in here. So it's basically all the steps for decorating a cake. And now I want cake. Oh, look at that. That's cute. The carnival with the bear. Oh, look, Misty, we can make you a clown cake. Misty Thrift or Junker Vintage Hunter. Clowns may not be high on her list, but everyone likes to just tease a little like we like to have fun and do. Oh, here we go. Everyone needs that pink doll cake right there. That is fun. So yeah, guys, this is the last item in this haul. So if you like this video, please go ahead and remember to give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I do live sales, live hauls, haul videos, shop with me's. Um, I'm trying to do some, not really teaching videos, but just every now and then, hey, this is how I do things. And I've so far done a little bit of my process for how I list on Etsy. And I think I've done a shop, uh, a ship with me video. But um, yeah, 
So that's it. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. And like I said, I will be back and I'll see you all soon.